When Honorable Dr. Bello Muhammad Matol Lamaradun Shatim and Sakotu was sworn in as the new executive governor of Zamfara State on 29th May 2019, his inaugural speech rekindled the hope of people of the state in their quest for a visionary leadership that will turn around the socio-economic fortunes of the state. Apart from security, education topped the list of the important sectors the governor pledged to accord to priority. Education is the most important driver of development in anywhere in the world. This is because no meaningful development can be achieved without education. We will therefore do everything possible if required to ensure that education is free for all school age. The state basic education subsector, which forms the foundation for other levels of education, was glaringly in a state of comatose and shambles, with far-reaching negative implications on the socio-economic development of the state. The governor has obviously made good his pledge, as his administration has so far changed the bad narratives for good through massive provision of basic infrastructures in primary and junior secondary schools across the 40 local government areas of the state. Uh, when we came in most of the schools were closed because of insecurity. Only schools in the urban areas are open. So barely most of the children are wandered. Uh, but His Excellency being a teacher, and also to ensure that he fulfills his promise that he will take care of education. First of all, he declared state of emergency in education. And then uh, when we came in, the backlog of matching grants that uh, this government didn't pay from 2017, 2018, and 2019. Despite the fact that he made, met an empty treasury, his Excellency decided to provide that sum that makes us to assess our matching grants for 2017, 2018, and 2019, <coughs> which gave us the uh, ego to go ahead with construction of various schools. And I can tell you from that time to 2020, we constructed uh, more than 1,145 classrooms across the state. And uh, these schools were constructed everywhere. And uh, you can go and see in each of the words, will not, you, you, can, you have a free hand to go and see. We took the schools everywhere, starting from uh, this axis, if you come, to, so you will see them scattered everywhere. If you proceed to Mofara and up to Sokoto, you'll see them. If you take this axis to Kaura, you will see them scattered everywhere. And uh, also within the groups and crime. We, because of insecurity, we decided to fence most of our schools, despite the fact that the funds we have are limited. But we fence more than 36 schools. And uh, within that, we uh, covering a meter of about 19,787. We renovated about 644 classrooms also within the four uh, the hotel local governments we have. And uh, we provided furniture of, of over 34,000 seaters to all these schools, classrooms we constructed, and those that are renovated. All of them have been well equipped with pupil teachers, um, pupil seaters, and the teachers' furniture as well the table and uh, chair. We also, for hygienic, uh, to ensure proper hygiene, and, uh, 
sanitation we over, we constructed about 327 cells of VIP toilets and we also provided about 107 boreholes with overhead tanks to ensure just to ensure good hygiene for the children to have toilets very good toilets and for them to have very good water to drink we also provide constructed and equipped about 11 ICT centers uh, going by the global trend now uh, we're going ICT so we decided to provide these ICT centers at Jange BJSS we have a boarding school there we constructed to create more provision for them we constructed a dormitory for about 200 children provided all the things required mattresses, pillows and beds and what have you <coughs> then uh, going to other departments of course we have various departments okay. just to fulfill his promise His Excellency because even if you provided infrastructure without building the teachers you are nowhere so His Excellency approved promotions for over 6,500 6, teachers across the local governments, 40 local governments. Uh, we approved nine, over 93 million naira to pay their arrears, and that was done rightly. These promotions have been there for more than 10 years. A teacher could not get promotion, but with the coming of His Excellency, Governor Muhammad Mutawalim, More than 6,500 were upgraded. Training and retraining of teachers as well as the school supervisors also received the deserved attention of the Matoli administration. Jolie Phoenix and Rana topped the list of such trainings that are geared towards improving teacher proficiency and performance in schools. You to a teacher, whatever you do to a school, you have to, if you want to have a proper learning, then you have to equip your teachers with modern techniques. Uh, you know, uh, things are going to global now. Things are changing. And you have to bring new ideas to your teachers if you want them to be up to date. So we train more than 9,363 teachers on Rana, on Jolly Phonics, and what have you, ECCD trainings, Mercy and what have you. We spend over 344 million on the trainings. Also under quality assurance, which is the backbone of ensuring that our schools perform well, because it is that department that ensures good supervision and monitoring. And you know we cannot be able to monitor and supervise those schools without an appropriation. So we, His Excellency gave approval for us to purchase three vehicles, new vehicles, two helops and one bus. We also purchased more than 46 motorcycles for our SSOs. We also upgraded our monitoring capacity uh, through the by through the technology-based monitoring system, and thereby we provided over 150 tabs for our SSOs to ensure good monitoring. So there are so many things, but this time will not be enough for us. To. But. I can beat my chest and tell you that His Excellency has fulfilled most of the promises he has under basic education, despite the financial income.